Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Furigan Gilet airbag system. So this is Furigan's new Gilet airbag vest system, which is designed to predict an accident and inflate that cushion of air around your body, just as you've just seen, to protect your neck, your back, and your torso. The technology within the system is from Innermotion. They're a French company who developed this system in MotoGP racing. It captures data from onboard sensors 1,000 times per second, and it compares that data to an algorithm that's been developed from monitoring hundreds of crashes over the years. When it detects that you're crashing, it deploys the airbag and gives you the protection that you've just seen. Furigan and Innermotion say it takes 60 milliseconds to detect and fully inflate, so both are done within that time, and for context, a blink of the eye is estimated to take over 100 milliseconds. If you have an accident and the airbag goes off, and if the vest itself isn't damaged in the crash, then you can get it back up and running yourself rather than having to send it back to Furigan. The vest that we've just done that demonstration on will now gently deflate over the next 10 minutes or so, just as it would after an accident. And to get it back up and running afterwards, it's just a matter of replacing the inflator that sits within the back section of this. And you can do that yourself at home. It's 90 quid for a new inflator. And again, as long as there's no damage to the vest or the bag, then you can just screw a new one in place and you're good to go again. There isn't any need to send it back to the manufacturer as you do with some other airbags, although you will need to return it for checks if you're unlucky enough for the airbag to have gone off three times. So let's run through the key ingredients of this vest. There's the bag itself, which you can see if you peel apart this section of the vest just here, and the plastic of the bag emerges through there. And that's housed inside this mesh vest, which is the second key ingredient. It zips up over the front here, and it has thin, stretchy sections down the side of the rib cage to keep it nice and light and flexible. These pockets here take D3O's chest protection inserts, which give you some conventional impact protection to give a bit of backup to the air vest itself. And the material inside the vest itself is 3D bubble. It's a mesh that allows air to flow around your body, which helps you stay cool in summer and also warm in winter because that air is able to circulate. Inside the back section is the inflator, which is housed in a conventional D3O level back protector. So if I unzip this section here, I'll be able to show you what's inside. If I just lift that up, you can see the back protector there which has been modified to have a clip that the inflator houses inside. The inflator screws into the airbag at this section here, and then there's a clip and a plug at this end, which connects to the in and box section of this vest, which is probably the most important ingredient that I'll get onto next. So the in and box, as I was saying, is probably the most important component of this bag, and that is the section that's just slotted in here. It's the brains of the system. It collects and analyzes the data and it tells the inflator to set the airbag off as soon as it detects that you're crashing. So you get this part, the actual in and box itself. It's what's slotted into this groove just here. You get that when you buy the vest, but it isn't much use without a subscription. Think of it as paying to use the software that's within the in and box. You can either lease that software, which is 120 euros a year, or you can buy a lifetime subscription for 399 euros. So Innermotion airbags are cheaper to buy than other electronic airbags from other firms, and they're also cheaper and easier to get going again after a deployment. But there is that extra cost of subscribing to bear in mind. Something else to consider though, once you have an in and box and you've paid for the subscription, you can switch it between any in and motion equipped vest or jacket and several motorcycle clothing manufacturers now have in and motion technology within them either integrated or with a standalone vest like this. There are some other issues to bear in mind, which is mostly around sizing and use with either rucksacks or within zip together or one piece suits. So this vest, the Furigan Gilet, is designed to be worn under any brand of jacket. It doesn't have to be Furigan, but there does need to be 15 centimeters of expansion room for the bag to inflate into. You need to do something similar for rucksacks. You can wear them over an airbag vest if the shoulder straps leave enough room. And if you don't have the rucksack, fastened across your chest or your abdomen. If you pull your rucksack shoulder straps away from your body, you'll be okay as long as there's 10 centimeters of room between you and the straps. 
Finally, how you need to have a think about trousers. The owner's manual for this vest says you mustn't connect your jacket to your trousers when worn over the top of this vest. The inflation will make the jacket ride up and I'm guessing you wouldn't want to experience the effects when the jacket brings the trousers up with it. All of that information, don't worry, you don't need to be watching this back over and over again. It's all included in the owner's manual for this jacket. There's a great deal of detail about how to size things and how to use it properly. So hopefully that explains a lot of detail about how this jacket works and I hope that demonstration showed you how quickly it inflates and potentially how effective this could be and how much difference it could make if you're unlucky to have an accident. It's something that I'm going to be wearing under as many jackets as I can from now on. Speaking of someone who's broken more ribs than I care to remember, I'm up for anything that helps me avoid going through all of that pain again. So. I hope, as I said, that's run through everything, but if you have anything you would like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer based on the experience that I gain from using this jacket over time. Thanks for watching.